and then we'll get started. Okay, so this is our weekly block party with a twist. Um, trying to find new uh, ideas for what we can talk about and, and what people want. So everybody has some value, um, interest in, in what we're talking about. My name is Erin Fluharty. I'm the star director for Exclusively Wickless team of, well, family of teams. <laughs> and, um, and this is our weekly, like I said, our team's weekly block party. Uh, for those of you that are gonna watch this on um, later, uh, please feel free to um, comment with questions. Um, uh, we're happy to help. I'm really excited to do a kind of a tutorial on um, how to make thank you uh, thank you postcards and join postcards. Um, that's probably where I'm going to start. And um, and if anybody uh, wants to do anything else, uh, I'd be happy to. Uh, for right now, I'm I'm using Avery.com, which is a free um, service that you can use online. And of course, Vistaprint, you can use online, um, both of which you can order through um, and have them print. Um, Canva is the same thing. You could do the same thing. You could design something from start to finish and you can have it printed through canva.com as well. Um, but I personally love um, using Avery. Uh, for those of you just getting started or maybe wanting to rebrand yourself, just not sure what you want, um, being able to use Avery.com at home. Uh, hey, Paula, thanks for joining. Um, using Avery.com at home, uh, being able to print from, you know, a home printer. You know, I, I use, um, for those of you that don't uh, have a printer yet, or maybe that you're on the looks for a new one, um, I use Instant Ink. It's awesome. Uh, HP Envy is what I have. I think it cost me 60 or $70, and I get Instant Ink. Um, and it's membership and they send it to you whenever you're running low and it's wonderful. So um, I print a lot of um, labels at home. So I'll show you what I typically use for product labels just so you know. This is um, uh, 81, no I'm sorry, 5160 but 8160 is the same size. These are just laser which I think they run smoother through my machine than, um, than the um, inkjet, but my computer, my printer is an inkjet. So um, I get these on Amazon. You get a, I got a huge box of them. Um, those are what I use for my product labels and, um, and for felt samples, uh, for felt sample labels, I use 8167. What's really cool about using Avery, the Avery.com when you buy Avery labels, they're gonna come with this code, the 8167. You just type that into, into Avery.com and you'll be able to, um, literally it will have this layout exactly and you can make the label and it will print perfectly every time. You don't have to worry about searching for something a specific size. Um, like with Canva, that might happen. Um, but, and Vista prints a little different because they print everything for you. So anyways, I just wanted to show those couple of things to you all. Um, okay. All right, so for, for me personally, um, I have a, a mailing system that I do, a monthly mailer, um, that kind of started and it's, it's, it's changed, it's had its different cycles, I've done different types of samples that I've sent in the mail to clients, but also I know people who like having a thank you postcard, not just for a mailer, but for putting into maybe delivery bags or just sending a thank you in the mail or, you know, sticking it in something, you know, for just for supporting your business. Um, maybe it goes into a, a, a goodie bag or something like that. So anyhow, I'm going to share my screen so that you all can see how I, um, can, I have made uh, thank, you car thank you postcards and join postcards. And for anyone that does log in um, late, um, I'll just, I'll probably reiterate that I, I can do business cards and I can do product labels, um, but it didn't seem like that was of interest. Um, and I know I didn't give much time. I gave like an hour's notice, but um, I'll go ahead and get started on the thank you cards and the join postcards. Um, if if y'all have any questions while I'm doing this, uh, please don't hesitate to chime in. 
Let me get over here to Safari. Okay. I'm going to close out all the things I don't need. Okay. Share screen. Okay, can everyone see my screen right now? I'm on avery.com. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with Avery because this is um, kind of a, the more economical route to go. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can make an account on avery.com using your email. It doesn't cost anything. And, um, and, and like you can see, there's all different ways to use this system. But I have, so I have an account. And I'm going to go ahead and log in. Okay. And so in previously, I'll have, so I have projects here. I have um, pictures um, and my previous orders. So what I would, what you would generally do is go to avery.com and you would click on projects. You may or may not, you know, have already had an account. So you'd always probably start a new project. So let's do that. And these can be whatever you want them to be, whatever size. Um, generally speaking, I'll go over to the, the left-hand side and I'll choose, is it cards? Yeah, postcards. Okay, so let's say you have, okay, so this is the way I do it. I have a slicer at home and I buy card stock, okay? That's the way I make my postcards. You can get them printed through, you know, like through a service. You can, you know, keep the file and, and print it at Staples, or you can, you know, make the same exact thing on Vistaprint. I'll show you the alternative on Vistaprint. But um, this way you can actually purchase the template if you want to um, of the actual postcards, but you don't have to. You can just buy cardstock. So I'm just gonna go with um, the 3263 because that's kind of, um, you know, four by six is usually a, a good size postcard. It's usually going to fit um, into most envelopes that you're gonna use. So I'm gonna select the template. So that'll be on the right hand side. Let's see trying to figure out how I can <laughs> make it so I can see everybody. All right. Okay. So on here, you'll see that you can actually do a search um, under all the designs, right? So it's kind of up to you. If you want to go in here and, and do some digging, see what you like that you think is pretty, um, go ahead. But I typically start with um, a blank canvas. And um, so I, I always just pick, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I do that, but I do. And uh, I, I guess it just, just depends on what your preference is. And if, if you want it to be white around the edge, or if you want it to just fall off, you know, looking like it's seamless, um, that's typically how it ends up for me. It looks seamless um, on the edges. Okay, so I have a couple photos that I got from a few of our teammates. If anybody wants to send me any more, um, I only received um, uh, pictures from two different people. Uh, I'd be happy to, um, you know, make some more, um, you know, use more if you all want to send them to me. Um, but in, th in this way, I can actually save the file and I can upload it and you can print it at your house um, with Avery at least. Vista print, I can't do that, um, but you could pretty much make something very similar on your end once we've gone through this tutorial. So, okay, so you, what you wanna have is when you're in here under your postcard, you wanna make sure you have your files. So right now I'm about to upload the files that I wanna use, my pictures that I wanna use to make this postcard. And which would you guys rather start with, a thank you postcard or a join postcard? Thank you. Okay, so let's do a thank you postcard. So let's see. Downloads. 
All right, so Jill, I, lo I love your photos. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use you as the first example here. Great photo. Um, Party. And okay, so another thing is, if you want to, um, the way it's laid out, if you wanna change the way it's laid out, see how it's up and down? If you wanna change that template, kind of like this one better where it's side to side that's yeah I like that better do you guys I like that better do you guys like that is that okay with you I like that layout okay so I would typically for a thank you I would Im import all of my pictures that I want to use first so I keep I'm going to go to the downloads and we'll up, put a couple of these I don't know if I can load them at the same time I can't load them at the same time but, okay, all right, and then one more. Um, we'll just pick this one. Okay, so obviously Jill has her fur babies <laughs> and um, I like to always make sure that people understand what they're supporting and what, why, in general, for your thank you cards or your join postcards, why they're going to either buy from you and support you or why they're going to join your team. So, so I would typically just load up all my photos so they're all here and then do some text. So. Uh, let's say thank you for your support. Oh, and just as an FYI, I went to text and then just add text box. Okay. And I always say thank you for your support of my uh, small business. Um, my, I'll say my fur babies and, and I appreciate you. Okay, so I typed in what I wanted. And again, this is this can all be changed and, and you can change up the font to whatever you want. So um, I might go over here. And let's see. I like that. No. So what I like to do is I like to have it all centered, I'm kind of OCD when it comes to that, but I don't like when it doesn't lay right, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So let's say, let's hyphenate that. There we go. I like that. All right. And let's, okay, so another thing is you can crop these. So like Jill has a, a, a background with a little bit of a sky in it and it's a really pretty photo, but the shape of it is, um, it's a little um, long. I wanna try and line them all up. So what I would do is click on the photo and you can go to crop image and then just pull it down and then you click out of it and it'll crop it out. Okay. All right, and I kind of, I like this. All right, and for background, it kind of depends if you want to, uh, if you want to have a background and print this at home, you got to keep into keep in your mind how much ink you're going to use. So, um, I mean, we could do a multitude of colors. She's got her a green sweatshirt on, so we could do like a green background. Um, these are easy things that you can do. But if you don't want to have a background and you just want to have a lot of um, you know info on here, um, you know, you that would be probably more beneficial. That way you're not taking away from what you can put on here. Uh, let's see. All 
I don't know. Y'all are getting me in the the zone here, I'm trying to make sure I incorporate everything I would typically incorporate. Hey, Jennifer, thanks for joining. Okay, so um, you can do just the front. This is another thing. If you want to do just the front here, and let's say we do this picture and these two pictures. Let's pull this one down a little bit. And then over here, we'll do on the right hand side some more text. And we'll say um, Jill Staub. And I don't know her phone number, so I'm going to put my own. <laughs> and then Jill Staub at Gmail. Let's just pretend. So, Aaron, do you just get these like pictures from you, like your own self, or? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, um, one second. I, um, I typically will use um, my family photos because I want everybody to know. And these are thank you postcards, just FYI, Jennifer. I know you just got on. Um, so these are going to be uh, what you might put in a delivery bag or, um, you know, put in a mailer if you're sending out a thank you mailer. Um, yeah. And, and then that way you can kind of have you can kind of change it up as you wish. What's cool, okay, I'm, I'm going to show you something else you could do. You I'm sorry to be so late. No, you're not at all. You're not at all. You're fine. I feel like I just got started, y'all. Okay, so you're on the Avery design. So yeah. when you print it out, you're not printing it on a label, correct? No, this is a postcard. You'll see on the right-hand side, There's it says Avery product 3263. It's actually a four by six postcard. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. Jill, thank you, postcard. And you can get these at Walmart as well? Um, I actually use cardstock at home, and then I'll use my slicer to slice them. Um, if you want to do that, you don't have to. Uh, but uh, that could be an option for those of you that want something more economical. Uh, but if you want to find the product 3263 and buy that product, it would print perfectly every time. Like I, 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 I use my, my 5160 labels all the time and 8160 labels. And so, um, so yeah, so you can buy the product and then you have the template. Okay. So what else? I feel like it's missing something. It's kind of bland. Um, let's see. Let's do some. What about a picture of like a little warmer and maybe a scent bar next to it? Yep, we could do that. So what you can do is go to add image. And there is a whole Avery gallery of photos that you can use. These are all free to use. Um, you could even do a border around the edge. Um, I, don't, I don't particularly use these, but it's not like you can't. So let's just say, okay, let's try this one. And then you take that and you go real big. And you can make it, you just stretch it to fit. And you, what's really awesome is that even if it tells you it's, it's not gonna like print, you can still have it hanging off the edge. If that makes sense. Like if you don't wanna have that whole blue image on there covering things up obviously it'll still print a little bit um, of it you just stretch it out Does that makes sense yeah or you could do something you could go really small and you could actually crop this to where it's just the the top whoops Let's crop this all the way. Again, just giving you guys ideas. Jill, this isn't your like end all be all <laughs> thank you postcard. <laughs> but I want to make sure you guys know what, what's available pretty much. So let's say you wanted to take this and put, and what we do, so you, you click into it and you hit control C and then control V basically copying and pasting, okay? And then you can turn it 
See how it's got the little turn style there? And just kind of move it with your mouse. And you all could, you know, you could have, you could outline the pictures or you could outline what you're, you know, trying to say thank you. It's kind of up to you, however you want to do that. And then copy and paste, copy and paste. I did a couple more of those. So seriously, if I'm moving too fast or too slow, please just tell me. <laughs> okay. And then so basically the sky's the limit on that. Yeah, and it's free. That's what's great about it is that you can use the use the basically use the service this online service and then print it from your house. Um, so let's just say you know we move these around, get these over, and you have kind of an outline here. I don't know. I think it's kind of pretty. It could be, you know, could be something different. I like that. Um, and then if you want to layer photos, so like you'll see that this photo with um, Otis has, um, or these two with Otis have a background that really doesn't, you don't have to have there. And this is a really great photo of Jill and Milo. So what I want to do is click on the one that I really like and then I'll do arrange and then I'll say send to front. You guys see how it has like different squares and where they lay? Yeah. Send to front would put them in, put it in front of those photos no matter how you move it. So you could do like, that makes sense? Yeah. But again, if we want to fill up space, I'm going to put this one, send two back. Okay. Okay. It's whatever you want, Jill. <laughs> it's not perfect. <laughs> but it's something that it gives you a good idea of what you could put on here. Another thing is um, when it comes to your font and the size, I typically go down on the uh, my information. I'll go probably to, I don't know, 15, and I might align it. And you wanna highlight it all, and then I might, bring it down. So Aaron, when, you, when you do these, you just want to personalize it, right? Yeah, um, because I feel like anyone could um, buy something through, you know, through Sensi. And if you make something like this at home and you can print it, and it's less expensive, I feel like it's putting more, more money in your pocket when you're getting paid from Sensi. So um, that's kind of why I um, wanted to do this because I feel like this way it's showing you all what you can actually do without spending a whole lot of money. Um, so maybe um, uh, Jennifer had the idea of uh, putting you know, we could put the Sensi logo on there. We could put, um, let's see what I have on here. These are all things I've used in the past. They're Sensi. Okay, so just as an FYI, I had already loaded this into the My Images. So that's why it was so easy to find. But for those of you that don't know, your workstation is where you're gonna wanna find your logos. And all you need to do is go to the workstation and use keyword search It's on the top right hand corner and type in logo. And this is called the mod M O D M as in Mary E O D as in dog um, logo that we can use um, for everything. Um, it's 
it's suggested to use either this one or um, they still have the trio star logo you can still use that one but the old and it's actually called sister frisky uh, logo it's kind of jagged looking that's really old so anything you find on Google um, or anywhere else don't trust it just use what's on your workstation and download that for everything you use um, if you choose not to use um, the Sensi logo that's totally okay but let's say for um, for grins we'll go ahead and use it and um, what else do you guys think we should add how about, um, how about something pretty from the Sensi workstation? Uh, there's all kinds, you guys know about the, all the marketing tab pictures. They're some pretty beautiful pictures. Uh, we've got, we're very, very lucky to have some of the pictures that we have on here. So marketing tab, can you all see my workstation? Yes. Okay, all right, so you go to the marketing tab and there's all kinds of pretty images that you can download. Um, let's say we're looking for warmer. Jennifer had the idea of adding a warmer um, to, um, to this. You'll see that some of these warmers are staged with a background and some of them aren't. The ones that you want to use typically to make it easier on yourself or the ones with no background because then that way you can um, you can just put them on there and you don't have to worry about removing backgrounds so I'm just kind of looking to see what there is but I think a lot of these are old this spindle warmer this one's discontinuing isn't it anybody know that offhand I believe so yeah I think so you got that discontinued on this here we go. Here's some of the new stuff. There we go. Um, I want that barbed wire one so bad. <laughs> all right, we'll go with that one. So I'll show y'all how you can um, use this. All right. So let's do image, add image. I'm going to go to browse file. And it's in my downloads, or it should be. Okay, did it not download? Okay, it did not download. All right, well. Save as. <laughs> For those of you that need help with this kind of stuff, here you go. <laughs> All right, so I'm saving. This is the warmer that I want to add. I'm going to save it to my computer. And then I'm going to go to my computer, browse for file, and there's the warmer picture. Now, what's cool is that we didn't put a um, background on this. So, like, Jill could you know, have a background if she wanted to, or she could just put a really pretty little picture of some warmers that she loves and then, you know, incorporate that like that. I mean, it could be as simple as that, or she could go and make this a little bit smaller, you know, and, and let's say, let's say we like this one too. Let's file, save as, and warmer two. Okay. Image, computer, browse for file, and then you can make it just as small as the other one. Let's see. I might go, might go a little smaller. Not to say that the, your, I mean, obviously your information is the most important that's on here, but if you wanted to have the, the information, all of this in here, then you just kind of move it around, make it fit. 
Is this boring, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm learning. All right. I might even do a third one. Jill, what's another favorite of yours? Yeah, I don't even know if these are your favorites or not, but. You could do the Red Sox warmer. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Oh, okay. I'll do a search. For real. <laughs> okay. Well, that was helpful. All right. Well, you guys get the drift, right? Yeah. I feel like that doesn't make sense. So let's do baseball. Oh my gosh. Now y'all can see what a struggle this is. It might be either uh, MLB or I can't see what you're typing in or um, MLB licensed or something. Nope. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, y'all get the drift. I know you do. Mm -hmm. So just base, let's base, let's say, let's pretend like this is another one. I'll just copy and paste it. And then you can put that there. Like, let's say those are your favorites or whatever. And let's center this. All right. So there's your, your thank you postcard uh, with fur babies. So thank you for your support of my small business. My fur babies and I appreciate you. And if you wanted to do the back, you have the whole back. And you'll see on the right hand side that it you can edit each one if there's something special you want to do on another one, like you're printing, printing them and you want to put names on them or something. Um, but on the back, you could put um, something like uh, uh, I don't know. You could say uh, um, contact me directly for your next order. Uh, I will or I offer my locals free shipping and then you could you know make it pretty and whatever and big and then you'd have something else on the back so Aaron can I interject real quick yeah this is a postcard that I did for um, door hanger bags I don't know how well you can see it or not let me see but... Hold on. yep I see it okay okay so what I did on the back side was a silhouette picture of me and Milo with oh, all of my. I like things. that. That's good. So the front has just like random pictures of um, the warmers and then like a house, just a random house, yeah. and then like all of the information. And then the back side has my personal information, and you can just to do the silhouette of the picture. It, you just make it transparent. Right. Okay, so, so let's I'll showcase I'll showcase that. So you'd go to add image and then um, I'll use something that's in my gallery. Oh no, I'm sorry, in the account. So we'll do this one. Because that's my fave. <laughs> that's the one I have actually no, it's the one. Okay. So what you do with this is um, you see to the okay, so I, I made it big, I made it fill up the whole back. That's just, I don't know, that's why I did that. So then you can go to transparency on the left-hand side. There's a line that you can drag the little dot on and it actually takes the color away. Oh. So you can read and, and what I would typically do is send it to the back. So mm -hmm. you'd arrange, you hit that arrange button and send to back. Yep. So anything you type or want to type over top is still always in your forefront. Okay, so I love big pictures. I will show you guys mine, but um, this is a really, I, I like this. I, I, I'm a firm believer in using personal photos 
um, making it about you. So there's a thank you photo, a thank you postcard. Okay, um, I'll show you um, one of mine. So I did this for my mailer. This isn't that exciting. Uh, but that's one of our new family photos that we had done. And this is from, for a mailer, I'll print it every month and I'll put something new on the corner here. And um, I got 10% off, but this is my monthly mailer that I send out. And, I, and there's always a sample of some sort in my mailer. Um, and the, if you are interested in learning more about that specifically, you can go um, YouTube it or it's on our group page too. Just type in keyword search um, uh, monthly mailer. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, if y'all are okay, to, um, I'll move on to Vistaprint. Okay, all right, so I'm on Vistaprint. Again, this is um, completely free to use, obviously. You just make an account, and um, it'll keep your, your order history, it'll keep all your, your images, your anything you upload will be there. Um, so let me look at Facebook real quick. See if anybody sent me uh, any more photos. So I don't think Megan's on here. Megan sent me some photos, but nope. Okay. All right, so I'll go and I'll show you what I have done for myself uh, for join postcards. The heck, man. Okay. I thought I was already signed in. Sorry, guys. Cool. So what's really cool about Vistaprint, you guys, is um, there's almost always a sale of some sort. So right now it's VP Winter 19, 25% off select products. Now, if you recall, when we first logged in, it said 50% off any one item. So let's see what that's about because, okay, business cards, if you guys need business cards, get on it. And then postcards too, 50% off any one item. So it's promo, why not? <laughs> Gonna go ahead and add that to my cart. <laughs> Change that promo code, why not? Okay. Cool. All right, my portfolio is where I'm gonna show you my, um, this is something I decided to do different this time, and I don't think I've finished it, but I'll at least show you. This is um, something different instead of a postcard. Um, it's called a rack card. Uh, for any of you that have been to a rest stop or a visitor center or a chamber of commerce, um, you'll see um, these hotels generally will use them and they, they're real skinny and they're real long and they fit really nicely in the displays that a lot of the visitor centers use um, uh, and the Chamber of Commerce uses, things like that. So, um, so pretty much I was going to do this for my join um, document, I'll call it document instead of postcard because um, I've been doing a postcard and I just kind of wanted to change it up. So this is what mine looks like. Um, obviously we all have, um, you know, different, uh, you know, reasons for Scentsy and um, I haven't finished this one. I, I was updating my story on my website um, before starting, or I'm sorry, I just updated my website um, story. So I am going to use that story on here and then I'll probably move some things around. Um, and then you can go to uh, next and then that's our background. And I like love big photos just using one entire page, even though it might seem like a waste of space to you. Um, you'll, you'll start to see that people will associate with you better because they know that they're supporting 
they're joining a real person. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about these. I really love our photos. Um, not trying to toot my own horn. I didn't take them, so <laughs> I can't toot the horn, but um, we were really excited to finally get photos. We had not had them done since Brooke was um, not even walking. Now she's uh, two and a half. So anyway, okay, so your join postcard is all about your why. Why did you join Sensi and or why are you in this Sensi life? Is it a hobby? Is it part time? Is it full time? Are you trying to, you know, we have Diana who's trying to uh, retire um, in the next few years and she wants to have an income. And so, you know, that might be an, an option for those of you um, that are in that place or phase of your life. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, are, if you guys are okay um, using a rack card, I'll show you that uh, versus a postcard since we did that in Avery. Um, you just go up to marketing materials on vistaprint.com after you've made your profile, of course, and then go to rack cards. And then I just do everything the cheapest way. <laughs> so I do standard thickness. Um, I did matte, I think. Uh, and then I typically do, yeah, that's it. And maybe I do glossy front. No, I do. I did matte. So then uh, standard uh, everything. Okay. And then this is a spot where you can put your information and it will automatically load it. Um, into whatever you end up um, designing, but I typically don't do that. I just um, I just start fresh. And you guys will see that you know I don't I don't like to have to delete a whole lot of stuff that they have there. But I mean, you can see some really pretty ones. There's like that's beautiful. I mean, if you're a landscaping company or a pool company or somebody looking to you know be a real estate agent and wanting to make a rat car, that's that's beautiful. Um, there's a lot of really pretty ones on here. Um, that's really pretty. You put your, your, your own headshot on there and then, you know, that type of thing. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and upload my own design. And that just means I'm going to put my own photos on here. Um, I don't know. Um, I think I have Megan's downloaded. Um, but I, hers were mostly of her kids. So, um, I think, just want with her one little girl. So what I'm going to do is I'll use, I'll use my photos. I just didn't want it to seem like I wasn't willing to help <laughs> others to design theirs. So, okay. So this is kind of an uploading your own design. You add your own images, you add your own font, um, your text, everything. So, um, it's kind of what you want to make of it. So let's say you want it to be, a br you're a brand new consultant. You don't have, you know, anything sp sp specific <laughs> that you want to put on here. But let's say you want to you want to include some pictures of warmers. Okay, so we'll put this in here. Where to go? That's kind of cool. So if you were to do this and just put that as the background, or the, I'm sorry, the, the back side of the card, um, pretty cool idea. I mean, it, it's, it's pretty, it's bright. Um, these are going to be printed obviously through Vistaprint. So, um, you know, that's an idea. And then you can put, um, let's see if I have the logo on here. My computer, do I have, I don't think I have my logo on here. Um, previous uploads. She's a lot bigger than that now. All right, let's just use this older one so you get the drift. This has a white background though. Uh, add image. Somebody's trying to get attention over there, Kathy. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. 
I don't know. This is this is something I have not done yet. So, and let's just say we were to move move this down. Let's say we move this down, and we'll make it easy. That way, it's kind of like okay, cool. You got your logo on there. You got that. If you didn't want to put the Sensi logo on, you don't have to. Um, if you wanted to put your information up here, you could. So just go to text, add new text field, and you could type in Aaron. Too hardy. And then you could do another text box if you want. 103, 3, 6, 2, 6, 0, 2, 0, 9. And the reason I do them separate is because then that way you can move them around if they don't quite fit. Okay. So the, this is huge. <laughs> 37 is not typically my font that I'll go, or size that I go with. <laughs> Um, let's do something classic. Let's go. I have no idea. Sure, that works. That's huge. <coughs> All right, so let's bring it down a notch here. Let's go to let's go to twenty. All right, so. All of them are going to be that same size then. So we'll do 20. And then recently used, it'll actually keep your font for you, which is great. You don't have to worry about remembering it. Let's see. Um, 20. Bring this up. And for those of you that are new to Sensi, um, I do not suggest putting your title on these types of things because your title can change very quickly, um, especially if you are working towards uh, certified or uh, lead. Doesn't matter where you're at, just saying that those are specifically ones that you can move through very quickly. And then, um, then you'd have to update your information. I mean, you don't have to, but I mean, who doesn't want to be able to promote that they promoted, right? <laughs> so, okay. So as you'll see, I'm kind of just aligning this so it's all lined up, and um, and then I can make them all centered. So I go to more, click on each line, and I go to more, and then I do the um, middle alignment. So it's the center. Am I going too fast, too slow? Everybody good for right now? Good. Okay, I'm going to save this and I'll just put um, uh, join rack card template. <coughs> okay, this is lined up very strange. I don't know why. Okay, so let's just say that these are all lined up and then um, I'll move that up a little bit. And so it's, it's pretty, it's coming off the back. Or I don't know if you can make the image, I don't think you can make the image transparent on this one. Maybe lightness. No, I don't know. I, I personally, I like showing how bright it is. I think it looks really good. I'll just leave it how it is. Okay, so that's gonna be um, my back. So I made the, the first one that I made, I made it the back. And then you hit next. And then let's say the front is where I'll put um, family photos. And I'll just, this is, you know, your reason for for joining uh, me. So why should they choose me? Oh, you gotta pick full color, just FYI, <laughs> before you can put photos on there. Um, actually, let's do this one. 
All right, so we're going to resize this. So it's really big. All right. It fits awkward, doesn't it? Of course it's going to fit awkward. Um, scale to fit. There we go. Okay, so that's what I want. I want it to be square across the top. Okay, and then <coughs> I like to be seamless, so I just kind of do that. I, I just make it bigger than the space it's in. Does that make sense? So yeah. it, it falls off the edge. And then I'll go up here, I'll put text, and I'll say, um, uh, what did I have? Uh, reason why Sensi. Why us. Okay, and then you could put um, my reason. No, I wouldn't put my reason. I would say, I'll actually do it right now. I'll go to my website. Just updated my story on here. <laughs> And it's really long, but I've been with Sensi four and a half years, so it's kind of the point. Um, it's probably going to take some adjusting, but <laughs> obviously it's a lot, so it would need to be adjusted. Let's see what I need to do here. <coughs> I think if you do the postcard even and have your picture transparent through the whole postcard and put that like your Y on the back would look cute. Yeah, that would be really cute. I agree. Um, <clears throat> so as you can tell, like this is just a lot of uh, info. So it's kind of like, you know, do you want all of this on there? Or you could say, you know, this is more about me and then um, and then you could say the trips you've earned or the places you've been, you know, that type of thing. So let's just say, you know, all of your info is there and you've got your title here. Or you could say, um, my why. A lot of people use that word as my why. And, and you could, that could be like, you know, you could draw a, um, they have like arrows, I think. Do we have arrows on here? Yeah. So they're like arrows. Jesus. They're, not, they're not pretty arrows though. I had another one that I, I think it was on Vistaprint, not on Vistaprint, it was on Avery, where you could um, draw little arrows. This is cool. You could make a little starburst to have like, you know, Put my Y and bring this up. Let's see. Arrange, send to back. Change this to white. Wanted to do something like that. <coughs> that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Or you could, you know, whatever. I probably wouldn't use that me personally, um, but maybe putting, I typically would layer over my photos. I, I really like using personal photos, as you can tell. So, um, so who here has a really good story? Anybody wanna share their story? No. Does everybody have a reason for selling Scentsy? Dawn, I know you do. Can I just toot my whistle for a minute? Toot your whistle, sure. Ladies, I had my first home party. It was a bingo party. And I, I set my goal for $300 <laughs> and I doubled my sales. Okay. Way to go.
Yay. I was so nervous about doing this party. You don't even understand. It was my first home party ever. So I was, I just wanted to toot my whistle. Sorry, guys. No, I'm glad you did. That's great. That's Good great. <clears throat> so I know, I don't know much about Dawn, but I know Dawn isn't very happy in her job. And I know she'd probably love some more Scentsy paychecks that are getting bigger and bigger. And she not have to work in her office anymore. So, <laughs> so basically, that's what you need to do. You need to focus on, I'm going to go ahead and, and go back to not, where am I? <coughs> oh. Scared me, sorry. So go cover up the news. Stop there. <coughs> How do I stop the sharing? There it goes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, so um, obviously the join postcard is going to be way different than the thank you postcard. It's going to have your details on it, um, but and you guys got the drift of how to use Avery and how to use Vistaprint and the types of products that you can use for both of them. Um, kind of the sky's the limit with it. Um, so the big thing is, does everybody have a reason? Does everybody have a why that they're willing to share? Because if you're not willing to share it here amongst people that you know, you know, if you don't have your why on your website, those are going to be things you're going to want to do and really think about because people associate with people that are like them. Um, and if somebody goes to your website and says, wow, they don't have a story or they don't have a picture of them and their family or them, you know, just with their fur babies or whatever, or even just a picture of your, your own, not a picture of something else. Um, I think it really, you, you will stand out from the crowd. I will tell you, obviously we all live in places where there's other consultants and there's tons of options for people. And um, you know, obviously if you have something that's personal and somebody else doesn't, for the most part, I feel like people will pick you over them. I mean, do y'all agree? I mean, I kind of, I would agree with that, even though I'm agreeing with myself. No, I agree. So, so here's the thing. I, I, I will do another like a workshop for this because I think it's really important that everybody knows why they're doing this. And if it's not a hobby and you want more from that, from this, than you're getting as a hobby, then you obviously need to find it deep in your soul as to why you're doing this. Um, whether it's every day or every few days and what's going to keep you coming back. And so with your join postcards or rat cards or whatever you end up using, um, that's going to be what you're, where you're going to want to share why you're doing this. So for me, um, originally when I first joined, you'll see, you could actually go to my website and read this. I had just had a baby. She was two months old. Um, I was typically known as a career woman. I worked, um, in a hotel. I did, uh, catering and event sales. And so, you know, I had the sales background and I just, I couldn't stand just being a mom. I mean, I know that that sounds probably kind of bad, but I didn't want to work outside of the home. And <laughs> when I first moved to Charleston, I, um, I mean, I was pregnant, so I really didn't have an option. I was like, I'm going to end up needing to take time off and I'm going to have to tell people that I'm pregnant. Most people, I mean, being honest, aren't going to hire somebody that's pregnant. Right. So, um, so when I found Sensi, and I actually, I'll tell you guys, I was a, a reactivate. Um, I started selling Sensi in 2012 and I had forgotten that I had sold it. And I met somebody, uh, in the DC area through a Facebook party and, um, sent me a basket party and, and I, and the rest is history. I reactivated, you know, it's free. You can reactivate, um, anyone, you know, that has sold Scentsy in the past and, um, they can reactivate under you. They just choose that and then they can come back for free. 
So don't uh, disregard uh, anybody who's a reactivated account. <coughs> you never know what they're capable of. Um, the fact that I hit uh, director in six months and then I hit um, star director in 20, I think 24, 25 months. Um, and that's where I'm at right now. And it's not typical. Uh, you'll meet a lot of people who have been with Cincy a very long time and, you know, they, they have a certain goal and that, that goal is a title, but you've got to kind of dig a little bit deeper and find out, okay, what do I really want? Do I want to be able to pay a car payment? Do I want to be able to pay off debt? Do I want to be able to travel? Um, do I want to go on a free vacation? Cause that's coming around the corner again. I will be able to do that again. So, but for me, I wanted something just for me. And I wanted to be, I wanted to feel that sense of accomplishment every day. And then that changed as soon as I started making a little bit more money. And I realized, you know what, this is really awesome. I'm able to change our life. We were able to buy a house and uh, we weren't, we didn't have to rent anymore. And then we bought a bigger house and, um, you know, it's, it's, it can change your life. And if you want it to, if you want something more then um, that's kind of what you want to be thinking about when it comes to your join information. It's not just, oh, you know, it's Scentsy and it's wax and warmers and I love the product and you can love the product and that's great and be passionate about it. But why, why, why Scentsy? Why not another product? Because we all love Target, right? I love Target, but would you want to work at Target? Are you passionate about Target? Probably not. I wouldn't want it to work at Target. Starbucks. Jill loves Starbucks. I don't think she'd want to work there though, right? So does. Yeah. Who wants to deal with people? <laughs> who wants to deal with people who have not had their coffee? <laughs> yes. That is and then cool. threw up their coffee. Yes. Yeah, no, 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 not good. So I know you guys might laugh when I use the word dream. But if you all can do a little bit of dreaming and like dig deep and find out if money wasn't an issue or if that hurdle that's in your way wasn't an issue, what, what would you be doing? Would you be selling Sensi? Um, and why? Uh, because once you get to the point where you have that, it will keep you driving. It will keep you driving every single day to get to your goal and then your goal will change and then it'll be a bigger goal and then that goal you'll meet and then you'll have a bigger goal. So, um, I definitely love talking about this. So I, um, I'm ha if anybody wants to take this off, uh, offline, I'm, I'm happy to discuss more details. Um, and cause not everybody wants uh Scentsy for long term. Not everybody wants Scentsy for more than a hobby. <laughs> Um, but I think a lot of us here, the ones that are here are home for a reason or want to be out of a job that they're in. Um, maybe we don't have to have this sensey thing. We don't have to have the money coming in, but maybe we need a little outlet for ourselves. Um, I think, I think that that's okay. And I think that there's so much more to this than meets the eye for a lot of people. And, um, you know, I don't know how many of y'all know this, but I mean, there's substantial money in this. And, um, I know I have a very, I have quite a few very good friends that are Sensi consultants that make ten ten $10,000 a month. I have a friend that makes minimum $30,000 a month. And there are people making upwards of 50, plus per month with Sensi. So obviously I'm not there yet. <laughs> I know you guys aren't there yet, but it is a goal. My next goal is $10,000 in a month. How, how, how you like them apples? Wouldn't you like $10,000 every single month? Could that change your life? Right? Yeah. So, um, I love talking about this. So you guys, you guys let me know if you ever want to talk more. Um, you know, I, I've had a dream workshop that I've done where we basically put action steps into place to like get to your, your first goal. And then once those are in place and done, we'll get to the next place. Um, so anyway, 
that that being said, I didn't mean to go off that that much on a tangent for join postcards, but um, but it is important for y'all to know that there is it's it's more than just saying oh I joined Sensi in 2014 and I've been selling Sensi since then or you know you know being able to say hey I paid off this credit card or hey you know I I went on this vacation for free or I've met so many great friends. Um, I've been able to travel the globe, you know, whatever it may be. Um, those are important key pieces that you want to put into your, your document, whatever, whatever it is. So um, that being said, does anybody have any questions, any comments, anything across, across the board that I can help with? I got to jump off, Aaron. Otis has to go outside, so <laughs> I got to jump off. I didn't want okay. to be rude. That's okay. You're all right. I'll talk to you later. All right. <coughs> now it's four of us. Oh, there's Jill. Jill's back. That was quick. It's her ceiling. Hey, Jill. <laughs> okay. So, does anybody have any questions? Anything? Nothing? Dawn. So I'm not like sure like the why. Like, I mean, I know what my goals are. I know my intentions when I first signed up were not, not to make this a career. Right now, that would be amazing if I could make this my job, like my regular every day. So like in your why, does it have to be like things of why you're doing it or like what your goals are or is it kind of like a mixture of both i would say it's a mixture of both um okay. because in in my story i explain when i started and why and then as i grew that's changed so i'll say you know you know i didn't include what my current why is um but i did i, I think it's important for y'all just always to say why you joined um you know what drew you in and then um you know, on stuff I loved. <laughs> yeah. So I joined because I wanted to get a discount on product that I was using already and yeah. uh, make money on it. And so that, that's a great why. And you obviously are going to have that evolve and, <clears throat> and that's okay. And you can change up this, this information anytime. Um, I think it's important for you all <laughs> to definitely update, um, I would say at least every season, so like thinking of the catalog season, changing up your website picture, changing up the story a little bit, adding your, your, um, these, when you get these in the mail, these monthly sales awards or the lifetime PRV or, um, what's the other one? Shooting star trainer awards, or when you get a shooting star award, um, or sensational start one, two or three. Um, I missed out on all of that. I mean, I missed out on the shooting star. I missed out on the sensational start level one, two, and three. I really didn't do any research of any sort when I first joined in 2012. So um, I think it's incredibly important for anyone that has earned those things to um, toot your horn, you know, make sure you know that people know <laughs> that you're an award-winning consultant and uh, those things stand out. I have a quick question. Yep. Are you not like afraid of putting your kids out there, like in the pictures, you, like like on your rap cards? Because you don't know, you don't know who they're going to, right? So I mean, I don't know. I guess I just live in a bad part of Texas. Yeah, I think it's up to you. I think um, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, for, I mean, as I think I, I showed you my, my actual, like original one that I'm working on, it actually just had a picture of Patrick and I on the top. And then, yes, it did have a picture on the back. Um, but I like your idea of, of making it like a more of a watermark. Um, but I mean, I guess in general, you know, we, we can't, I don't know. I, I, I would say we can't be scared of what could happen. We need to live our life, um, you know, in that sense, but it, it's kind of personal choice. 
and I've, I've sound conceited if I just put pictures of myself and not my kids, but no. explain to them like in my why, like <laughs> how I'm doing this for my kids. Yeah. Cause I live about two, two and a half hours from Mexico border and I'm freaked out. Oh yeah. Like we've already had people trying to be abducted out of schools like a month ago. Yeah. Like, I mean, I know it's just school, but if they get that picture of your kids, I guess I'm just paranoid. They get a picture of your kids and then they're like, ooh, on the hunt for that kid. Yeah. Well, if you post, it pictures, wouldn't, if you post uh, pictures of your kids on social media already, it's kind of the same thing. I mean, I guess, I, like she said, it's your comfort level. Like, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, sharing that, then I wouldn't do it either if I was you. I never post pictures of like my kids in um, like the birthday suit in a diaper. Um, you know, I don't post I, like the, the, I think of the weirdos. <laughs> this is going off on a tangent, but um, the, the, the weirdos that, you know, want photos for other reasons and I, and not just like human trafficking or things like that. And it's very sad. Yeah. It's a very sad world. It really is. Um, but again, it's your comfort level. Um, this is kind of, uh, for me, the, the, for the most part, if, if I won't <coughs> post on Facebook, I, it won't go on a business card or postcard, you know, post, postcard or rat card or whatever. Um, but I mean, like Dawn said, if, if it's on Facebook, you may think it's private, but it's not. I mean, people can, can find your images very easily. I'm sure there's lots of crazy people out there who know a lot more than I do about being able to search stuff. So, um, anyway, so does anybody else have any other questions or comments or across the board? It doesn't have to be about what we're talking about tonight. Okay. Well, I will let y'all go and um, like this is already recorded, so I'll be uploading it to YouTube and then I'll load the link to our group. And so anybody that missed it can watch it later. And if you want to rewatch this and do slow motion, <laughs> you can. and um, I hope you all, I mean, did y'all find some value in this? Did you learn anything? Oh yes, a bunch. Okay. All right. Well, good. I appreciate you, your insights and um, you got to let me know what y'all need uh, so that I know what you want for training. So um, I will keep a tally, a running list of things. So you just let me know what you all need and uh, we will have trainings on that. Okay. okay. Y'all have a wonderful week and I'll see you next weekend. All right. Bye. Bye.